Hi, folks, and welcome to beautiful Eugene, Oregon. We're in for a special, historic moment here today because while it appears to be raining in the Willamette Valley, everyone here knows it never rains in Oxen Stadium. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. So we'll see a squad out of the Pac-12, the Oregon State Beavers, taking on the fourth-ranked team, the Oregon Ducks. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Beavers will kick this deep to start us off. He'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. So Oregon's offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in this stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. And one of the things that we saw, the clock's ticking down all year for this game, this day. Now they get their chance. The pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. Incomplete. Second down coming up. It's a run. Running back's got it. They'll tackle him right at the 31. And remember, the last time these rivals met, Kirk, these guys dropped the hammer. It, it got ugly. And Chris, don't underestimate the mental anguish that that can put on a team. It's important that this defense plays well and tries to get the ball back to their own offense to give them a chance to build their confidence up. Sets up as a third and three here on this opening possession. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And the game just good enough for a first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. That's a strong stiff arm. He's marked now, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Handoff here from the shotgun. That's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? And here comes a deep shot. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Well, this defense has got to be aware that this quarterback and this offensive coordinator, they're not afraid to take shots. Here we see it early in this game, throwing the ball downfield. Defense has got to be aware. Keep those safeties back. Keep your eyes up. Try to keep a lid on this offense and look for some turnover opportunities. They'll kick it away here. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. So the Oregon State Beavers offense out there for their first possession. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kurt, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Breaks loose at the 40. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. Now they run a draw play. 
Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game that you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. Tackled quickly after the catch, she'll be short of the marker. Love to see the short passing game as a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable and allows you to see how the defense is reacting. That can open up for other things later on. So the ball placed right at the 50. Offense looking to pick up the first down here on third and short. Quick throw to the left side. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. Well, that's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down. And makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. And the Beavers will bring their heart team onto the field. Hunter comes out for the first time today. Look at a pin and back. And the fair catch signaled for and taken. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? He'll pitch it. That run moves the ball to the 16. Makes it second and medium. From the shotgun, handoff inside. They'll tackle him out across the 20. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. A game sets up a third down play. He hands it to the back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. The Ducks will send their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And a fair catch called for a prudent play in rainy conditions like this. Oregon State's offense back out on the field now. On first and ten, looking to throw. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Short completion there, second down coming up. To the air, it's Gold Branson. Snags the quick throw. Defense makes the stop very close to a first down. I think it's important to kind of let your quarterback get into a rhythm early in the game. Sure, you'd love to see the big gains, but plays like this allow the quarterback to get settled into the game, find his rhythm, and then he can make the bigger plays later on. And a throw for it on third and short. Oh, but he could not call it in. A third down drop. Brings up fourth now. Oof. The risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down. But what would be the play call? The Beavers will have to kick it away when it comes for his second punt of the game. Met will bounce and go out of bounds inside the 10. Great punt to pin the offense back. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. They tackle him about the 14. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance at a really nice game. Important second down play coming up. Looking for a gap. It's James. Stopped short of the 25, but it's enough to move the sticks. Sometimes.
Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Grab down the middle. It's Ferguson. Not easy to bring down. The quarterback finally gets the job done. Getting set for the second quarter here. Both offenses searching for a spark. They didn't do much in the first quarter at all. get lined up here for quarter number two. We'll see if the offenses can get going. They didn't do much in the opening quarter. And the quarterback keeps it here. And he's brought down, but it's a first down spotted near the 41. And this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. The junior able to bring him down quickly. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Gets the first and still running. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. And the Ducks hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zeroed in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. Second down after that previous play. And they hand it off to the back. Fighting off the defender. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Chris, it's the consistency of this pack is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Scanning the field, it's Gabriel. Receiver makes the grab. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. This will be a 43-yard attempt. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. Breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3 0. Of course, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So, after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Return begins inside the 10. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Oregon State's offense drops back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. They'll hand it off. Some hard running there through a tackle. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. 
Tackle made after just a short game. That run sets up a critical third down play. They call the draw play here. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. And the Beavers will line up to boot it away. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. Looking to build on this lead in this possession. Had to settle for three last time out. Caught on the outside. It's James. And heads out of bounds after a decent game. The back catches it on that play, Chris. Kind of looked like a receiver on the way they designed that play. And I love the toe tap at the end. He's in bounds. Nice game. Here's the second down play. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. The offense facing a tough conversion here, third and long from the 42. Looking to pass, it's Gabriel. Throwing for his running back. Here's a target, and it's complete. That's a big game deep in enemy territory. Ball down near the 30. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. We reached the two-minute warning. We'll have to see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. And the Ducks line up on first and ten now. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's Ferguson. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. This offense is clicking. And clearly, everything seems to be working. Coordinators calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. Looking to throw it on first down. Defense is coming after him. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. That's a really nice job of bouncing back by this defense after giving up that big gain. This time they get the pressure and bring that quarterback down. Second down now after the sack. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. That is outstanding defense to be able to leverage this quarterback. That is a tough thing to do. This guy's as fleet-footed as any quarterback in the country. And to be able to bring him down for a loss like that is a major accomplishment. So after consecutive losses, they got to come up with something here on third and very long. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Receiver makes the catch. They'll stop him short. The completion gained five yards, but brings up fourth down. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. So now on comes the field goal unit. He was successful with his last kick. This one, though, from 46 yards away. He missed it. And after the miss, it's still a three-point lead. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. A poor kicker. Oregon 
State's offense back out on the field now. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? He's running out of time here. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. So after the incompletion, it's second down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. It's a quick grab. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit is swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. The Beavers will line up to hunt it away. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. And with time quickly fading here before halftime, wouldn't expect them to be too aggressive at this point. But this one is broken up and falls incomplete. I don't know if people understand how hard it is to defend against a deep ball and man coverage like that. But this defensive back did it perfectly. Turns his head back just in time to find the ball to ensure that incompletion. Second down play coming up. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. A completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Scanning the field, it's Gabriel. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. After the incompletion, QB tries it again. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. And that's a solid return after the interception. What a play by the defensive back here. You have no idea how tough it can be and how slippery it is out there with this rain. The defense is reacting to the offense. The offense knows exactly where they're going when they're running their route. The defender has to try to be very careful to keep his footing underneath him. Sounds simple, but it's not. To come up with that interception while doing that, and that is a big-time play. Looks like one more play here before halftime. First down, looking to throw the ball. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. And that ball is incomplete as time runs out in the first half of play. Meadows is going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Guys from Corvallis to Eugene, there are some ornery folks and some emotional fan bases in this always contentious battle between the Ducks and Beavers. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Oregon and Oregon State plays out. The Ducks will kick this away to begin the second half. He's got it inside the 15. Oh, and he fumbled it. Oh, and it's recovered by the kicking team. A special team's turnover. Ouch. The Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. Another example of taking care of the football and how big of a deal this is. Usually it's running backs in practice that are working overtime on ball security. But after this, next week, this returner might be in those drills too. Can't be trusted to return it when you can't hold on to the football. 
So second and ten after the previous play. Tony doesn't hang on off the deflection there. He's going to bring up a third down play. Oh my gosh, they almost came up with another interception. They had a pick on the last drive. They're doing such a good job of baiting this quarterback into throwing the ball into coverage and then making a play on the ball. Let's see if they can keep this going. To throw, it's Gabriel. The pass rush closing in. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the Number field goal here on fourth six. down. Now comes the field goal unit. And he knocks it right through the uprights. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And he'll bring it out from inside the tent. And the returner will be brought down. Oregon State's offense drops back out on the field. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. Getting set. Here's second down. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Pass not complete. They run the draw play. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. It was an excellent effort by this defense just staying in their own fix, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. And the Beavers will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And their fair catch has made a smart decision in rainy conditions like this. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. Makes a quick grab. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. It's the tight end flex out into the slot looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. Quick completion to the tight end. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. Hey, a first down here by this Oregon offense. Nice to see the quarterback and receiver in sync and very efficient. Something that Oregon really prides itself on. As much as you want to think about that quarterback with the ability to run, remember, they can hurt you with their arm as well. First down here for this offense. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. It's second down here. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Running with purpose. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. 
So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Back in motion now. Quick throw to the left side. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. That's a crucial touchdown for the offense adding its lead now here in the second half. Yeah, you get into the second half, you start to count possessions and how big your lead is. Now that you're up two possessions, you can start to play really smart football, not just on offense, but on defense as well. Offense is out there. Here comes a two-point conversion attempt. Back to pass. It's Gabriel. Pressure is coming. And he's hit right as he throws it. Incomplete. Defense not fooled at all there. Nice job of stepping up and stopping that two-point conversion. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Set to advance on foot. He'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. Oregon State's offense back out on the field now. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. And brought down at the line by that big defensive tackle. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw but at this point in the game they haven't been able to run the ball they're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point they'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one man the defensive coordinator has to be fired up about this play the thing that he has to love is that his defense and their technique was right on point they didn't lose their leverage they stayed with the play and didn't just go after the quarterback third down this offense was really a conversion here down multiple scores not able to hook up there incomplete but well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football you know whether it's been running the wrong route the quarterback not being accurate the offensive line not doing their job it's been a collective effort and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game the beavers will have to kick this away this is punt number six get the ice bath ready for the punter this one will be fair caught. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again? Or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? Testing the defense with a throw downfield. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Chris, the defense catches a break here. They got behind coverage. Looked like a big play, if not a touchdown. And the receiver just dropped the ball. So, second down after the incompletion. Here comes a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel. The pocket breaking down. That deep shot is caught for a big game. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. That'll put him over 150 yards today. Kirk, he is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. Handoff here from the shotgun. And that's a solid gain here for the defense able to bring him down. A gain makes it second and medium. Quarterback still with the football. It's a fumble! 
The offense falls on the fumble, keeps possession. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the fumble, but you have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of it. It's a lucky break for the offense. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. That's reeled in. It's Holden. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. The Ducks will come to the line on fourth down, looking to keep the drive going. Here we go, fourth down. They'll try to run for it. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. I can really appreciate this offensive coordinator not trying to just do something crazy. In less than a foot away from the first down line, just punch it in and pick up a first down. That's what they call here, and it works out perfectly. The Ducks looking to keep this drive moving. Six. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks. So the offense flexing, Kirk, and stretching the lead here now in the second half. Well, you can catch your breath here a little bit if you're this offense. That touchdown can help you out. But now your own defense can help you preserve the lead so you can go back out and continue to build upon that to the finish. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. After the PAT, they go up 19. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Return begins inside the 10. And they stop them at the 23. That's solid coverage. Oregon State's offense drives back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out, and they put something together in this drive. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. So, Kirk, as we break for the quarter, Oregon has the lead here. So, after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. So, one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. To throw, it's Gold Branson. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. A fourth quarter down by a couple of scores. This offense doing everything they can to not just score points, but do it in a hurry, trying to preserve the clock. Here, they're tackled in bounds. They don't pick up a first down. Good job by this defense to keep that clock moving. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Running out of time in the pocket. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Defense makes the stop. The screen pass doesn't produce a first down, and now it's fourth down. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. A running play called on fourth down. Moves his way for a first down to the 35. Chris, I'll be honest, man. I thought on fourth down and one, they might be just trying to draw the defense off sides, but they caught me and probably the defense by surprise as well, especially on their own side of the field. Gutsy play call right there to keep this drive alive. And the Beavers lining up here on first and ten. Offense looking to throw the ball. Pass is caught. Well, we just continue to see this defense make great plays, especially with their tackling. And the awareness to understand we're in the fourth quarter, you're trying to keep this offense in bounds, so they keep that clock moving. That completion sets up a second down play.
Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Running back has it on the screen now. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. Now the defense is getting pressure on the quarterback. They got a little bit fooled here by the screenplay. Nice positive gain for the offense. See what the call is on first and ten. Dropping back, it's Gold Branson. Goes to his right side there for the completion. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Boy, why the receiver screen can be hit or miss. See, the receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Seventh play of the drive coming up. Looking to pass here on second down. Nice grab. It's Clements. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. It's third down for the offense. Looking to chuck it again. Let's it fly out of the wideout. He's got it for a big game. Tackle made after a big game. Hey, that's a great game right here for these guys, and it hasn't been a good day, let's face it. But I love the fact that they're still fighting. And a drive like this, who knows what it could do for you. Maybe get points on the board, maybe not able to come back in this game, but, man, it could really help you down the road as far as showing what your character is about and how you're not giving up. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Makes a quick catch. Tackle at the 8 after the completion. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Brings up second down. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find out here in the red zone. To throw, it's Gold Branson. Makes the grab on the move. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Beavers. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Here's the point after attempt. And the PAT is good. I believe they can line up here and go for the onside kick. And the receiving team makes the recovery. The hands team does its job perfectly. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Well, about the only thing that went right for the offense there, Chris, is they kept the ball in bounds to try to keep that clock moving. The defense does their job. They're just trying to think of any way at all to get that ball out and get the ball back to their offense to have a shot here. And that's the two-minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Offense getting set up. Here's second down.
Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Linebackers moving around, trying to confuse the offense. Big third down play. If they can't get the stop, they have to consider calling a timeout. Oh, and it's dropped by a normally very reliable receiver. It's going to bring up fourth down. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. Well, lands at the five. It doesn't check up. Bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Oregon State's offense back out on the field now. Back to throw. It's Skull Branson. The junior trying to take his shot, but overthrows his man. It's now second down. Offense getting set. It's second down. Bakes the handoff, looking to throw. Gets rid of it on the move. Short throw complete to the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. But I thought we'd see this tight end all game long within this game plan, but that's just his second catch of the game. The defense has done a nice job of being able to recognize where he is and take him out of this plan. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Well, it's a big risk to play man-to-man -man coverage by this defense, and this time they get caught. Great timing between the quarterback and his receiver. You can see what can happen when that timing is right. Big things can happen. Off the play fake on first down. Bringing pressure. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. And I talk to defensive coordinators all over the country, and they're quick to point out the term affecting the quarterback. They, they, they kind of almost get offended when you want to talk to them about sacks. Sometimes it's just about getting into his face, affecting his vision. It's exactly what they did right here. Looking to throw yet again. Let's it go quickly. Easy throw to a wide-open receiver downfield. Finally brought down, but this is a big play. Oh, Moves the ball down to the 21. And the offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Looking to throw. It's Gold Branson. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Brings up second down. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. And he spikes it to stop the clock. Third down coming. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. Chris, that ball gets tipped and goes straight up into the air. That's anybody's ball. The defense does a really good job down in this area, expecting the pass. The ball's in the air. Ball gets tipped. Keep in mind, the offense or the defense can get underneath that for a play. And the ball hits the ground for an incompletion. Trying for a fourth down completion, and he'll lost it to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Oregon State. Chris, they did what they had to do with this touchdown here. Now with under a minute to go, you got to get that onside kick to give yourself a real shot.
Now the try here for the extra point. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. That makes the score Oregon. 19, Oregon State, 14. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. Set to kick this one away. And looks like the hands team were able to recover the football. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. Looks like the quarterback will just take a knee here. Tonight's 